Scotland, a proud and ancient kingdom, yearned for a place on the world stage. For centuries, it had maintained its independence and unique cultural identity, but the allure of global influence and economic prosperity was hard to resist. England's colonial ventures fueled this desire, showcasing the riches and power empires could amass. The English had established colonies across the globe, reaping immense wealth and resources which only heightened Scotland's aspirations. The Darien scheme, a bold plan to establish a Scottish colony in Panama, emerged from this ambition. It was conceived as a way to break into the lucrative trade routes and establish Scotland as a formidable player on the international stage. It was a gamble on a grand scale, a chance for Scotland to seize its own piece of the new world. The vision was grandiose, a thriving colony that would serve as a hub for commerce and trade, linking the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. But the stakes were high, and the consequences of failure would reverberate through Scottish society for generations. The financial investment was enormous, with many Scots pouring their life savings into the venture, hoping for a prosperous return. This is the story of the Darien scheme, a tale of ambition, hardship and ultimately tragedy. The harsh realities of the Panamanian environment, coupled with political opposition from powerful neighbours, led to the colony's downfall. It is a story of human resilience and the devastating costs of colonial dreams. The settlers faced disease, starvation and conflict. Yet their determination and hope persisted, even as the dream crumbled around them. It is a stark reminder of the complex forces that have shaped our world and the enduring power of the past to shape the present. The Darien scheme's failure had profound implications, leading to economic ruin for many, and ultimately contributing to the Union of Scotland and England in 1707. The Treaty of Union, signed in 1707, was in part a response to the financial devastation wrought by the Darien scheme. It marked the beginning of a new chapter in Scottish history, one that would see Scotland integrated into the burgeoning British Empire. Yet even as Scotland became part of a larger empire, its identity and the lessons of the Darien scheme continued to resonate. The story of the Darien scheme is not just a tale of failure, but a testament to the enduring spirit of a nation striving for greatness. Today, as we reflect on this chapter of history, we are reminded of the ambitions and dreams that drive nations, the resilience of the human spirit, and the intricate tapestry of events that shape our world. The high stakes of empire indeed leave an indelible mark on the course of history. To understand the allure of Darien, one must first grasp the economic realities of late 17th century Scotland. During this period, Scotland was grappling with severe economic challenges. The nation was struggling to find its footing amidst a landscape dominated by powerful neighbours and restrictive trade practices. England's economic dominance cast a long shadow over Scotland. Trade restrictions imposed by England stifled Scottish merchants, making it difficult for them to compete on an equal footing. These restrictions were not just a minor inconvenience, they were a significant barrier to economic growth and prosperity. Opportunities within Scotland seemed limited, and the prospects for economic advancement were bleak. Many Scots, Feeling the weight of these restrictions began to look beyond their borders for new opportunities. They cast their eyes across the Atlantic, where the promise of new lands and untapped resources beckoned. They saw the wealth flowing from England's colonies and couldn't help but feel a pang of envy. The riches that England was reaping from its overseas ventures were a stark contrast to the economic stagnation in Scotland. The Scots craved a piece of this action, a chance to share in the prosperity that seemed just out of reach. Darien, a narrow strip of land connecting North and South America, became the focus of Scottish ambition. This strategic location was seen as a potential gold mine, a place where Scotland could establish a colony and create a new trade route 
that would rival those of the great European powers. It promised a shortcut between the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, a gateway to untold riches from the East. The idea was that by controlling this narrow strip of land, Scotland could facilitate trade between the two great oceans, tapping into the lucrative markets of Asia and beyond. The Darien scheme, spearheaded by the visionary William Patterson, captured the imagination of the Scottish people. Patterson's vision was bold and ambitious, promising not just economic revival, but a new era of Scottish influence and power on the global stage. It represented hope, a chance to escape the economic doldrums and forge a new destiny. For many Scots, the Darien scheme was more than just a business venture. It was a symbol of national pride and a beacon of hope for a brighter future. The aspirations tied to this scheme were immense and the potential rewards seemed boundless. Patterson, a charismatic Scot, envisioned a colony unlike any other. His dream was not just about land, but about creating a new society, a utopia where freedom and prosperity would flourish. Darien would be a beacon of free trade, a haven for persecuted Protestants. It was to be a place where people could live without fear of oppression, where commerce and faith could thrive hand in hand. He painted a picture of a prosperous society, a land of opportunity for all. Patterson's vision was grand, promising wealth and a new beginning for those willing to take the risk. His vision resonated with Scots from all walks of life. From the bustling cities to the quiet countryside, people were captivated by the promise of a better future. Farmers, merchants, even the aristocracy poured their savings into the company of Scotland, the venture backing the colony. They believed in Patterson's dream and were willing to invest everything they had. The response was overwhelming. The company raised a staggering sum, equivalent to a quarter of Scotland's wealth. This was a testament to the faith the people had in the project. Five ships laden with colonists and supplies set sail from Leith in 1698. These ships were filled with men, women and children, all eager to start anew in a land they had only heard about in stories. They carried the hopes and dreams of a nation. They also carried the seeds of their own destruction. The journey was fraught with peril, and the challenges they would face were beyond their wildest imaginations. Yet, their spirits were high and their determination unwavering. They believed they were on the brink of creating something truly extraordinary, a legacy that would be remembered for generations to come. The reality of Darien was a far cry from Patterson's utopian vision. The rainforest climate proved brutally unforgiving. Disease, particularly malaria and yellow fever, ravaged the colonists. Supplies dwindled, morale plummeted. Disagreements plagued the leadership. The Spanish, who considered Darien part of their territory, viewed the Scottish colony with hostility. They launched attacks, further weakening the already struggling colony. Faced with insurmountable challenges, the colonists abandoned their settlement in 1699. The dream of a Scottish empire lay in ruins. The consequences of the Darien disaster were swift and devastating. The Company of Scotland went bankrupt, wiping out the life savings of countless Scots. The economic impact was catastrophic. Scotland teetered on the brink of financial ruin. Resentment against England festered. Many blamed English interference for the colony's failure. The Darien scheme left a bitter legacy, poisoning relations between Scotland and England. It also exposed the vulnerability of an independent Scotland and was a major factor in its act of union with England in 1707, thus forming the United Kingdom and paving the way for a momentous shift in British history. Should curiosity ever beckon you towards the stranger side of history, please join us by subscribing. It would really mean a lot. Together, let's continue to explore the curious corners of our world. Thanks for watching, and I hope something good happens to you today. Peace!